Minnie is a pro-life, not only because she's a Christian, but because by the time she finds out she's pregnant, she's already nine months in. And you're the same size as my kid. Darn. David looks like he could sit on a taquito and tell you if it's chicken or beef. <laughs> but he's always hoping for chorizo. Minnie is also Mexican. Uh, give it up for Slowly Gonzalez, everybody. Give it up for Pee Wee Hermano, everybody. Uh, Minnie's uh, baby daughter is currently with her father, uh, which means that Minnie is a bad parent. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot it. I realized I went like, oh shit, I forgot. She has a, she has a baby daughter, but it, uh, she had a baby daughter two years ago, but it looks like she forgot to take out the other two. Uh, I am a mother, and you know all about calling guys daddy. <laughs> David is so small, when he has sex with a woman, he has to 59. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what you guys are thinking. A woman? <laughs> uh, Minnie's dad is a gun enthusiast. He wants her to have a gun, so when she's suicidal, she won't use a rope and bring down the house. <laughs> I am fat, but you look like you have undiagnosed leukemia. <laughs> David's actually banned from all Taco Bells because legally they can only have so much Mexican shit on their property. Uh, Minnie is into white guys. That's her type. Especially, especially surfer guys because she doesn't, they don't mind the smell of the ocean. And they really, they really love whales, so. Yeah, I'm just like Shamu, I'm gonna kill ya. David had a girlfriend. She goes to another border. You guys don't know her. <laughs> she left him for a white guy. I guess we found the one job a Mexican can't take. Minnie used to actually date a frat guy. Uh, she hates spring break because it reminds her of him. And also spring break is what happens whenever she gets on a trampoline. <laughs> David's single because he has a lot of trust issues. He was actually ghosted after he lost his virginity. And that is a fucked up thing for a Boy Scout leader to do. <laughs> but hey, at least you got your bottom badge. Bottom badge, bottom badge, bottom badge, bottom badge. Hey, make some sounds with your hands and mouth for David Rodriguez. This is a lot going on up here. Uh, Frank, you're Mexican. Yes. <laughs> so what do you think of your brethren up here? Did you like Pinky or the Brain? Uh, this, was, uh, this was a really good battle between two Mexican okay. lesbians. Uh, you know what I mean? Minnie looks like she's like, this is my roommate, you know, Suzanne. And she's like, oh, that kind of looks like a guy, but it might be a woman. Uh, don't ask. Grandpa's almost dead. Um, I really liked all the battles. Uh, like all, I the battles? all the battles. I really liked all the jokes, the back and forths. Uh, were really, really fun. I think Minnie edged out just a little bit. I like the joke that you did about her hanging herself and taking down the house. Um, yeah. I will ding you though because you did forget. I know you I forgot like, a Whoa. joke, but it was so funny because you were just like. <laughs> it, it made me laugh because you were just like, yeah, her, her dad's watching her right now, and it's like, yeah, that's what. Good, good parents do. You know what I mean? They have someone watch the kid. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you must be like old school Mexican yeah. where you just watch yourself until you're 15. Fuck. But yeah, <laughs> Min Minnie wins it for me. Yeah. Hell yeah, 15. Woo! Shout out to Quinceanera, everybody. Yeah. All right, Omi, did you like uh, When This Boy Met World? I thought this was a great battle. I know we got to wrap this up. David has a meeting with Dan Schneider tomorrow, so. Oh, Topical. 
Ay, Carlito. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you just learned that one. Huh? Yeah, Minnie, yeah. Minnie, you're a monster, not only in stature, but also in joke writing. Thank literally, you. Literally, you, you, you killed him. The taquito joke started off so strong, and then you literally just kept building up. Goes to another border. So funny. A job a Mexican can't take. Also very funny. David, when you had the flub about how parenting worked, that was also <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. It was so funny. Um, but you came back. That trampoline joke yeah. was my favorite joke of the round, just because the visual is easy to conjure It's realistic. Up. It's realistic. So that was a very good joke. Um, your delivery is funny as well. But Minnie, you came super prepared. You came ready to win. And uh, Thank I give you. it to you for Thank sure. You. No! Oh, all right. Well, Minnie's moving on to the next round. Yeah. Well, let's hear from the RBL command. Should you like Minnie or Mouse? <laughs> I know David does kind of look like Rey Mysterio's eighth grade class photo. You, you look like a landscaper that can only work on house plants. <laughs> <laughs> I specialize in ficuses. <laughs> yeah. You guys both look like two people that aren't going to help me at the DMV. That's what you guys... I hope I don't get either window. Yeah, it's great. This looks like... Uh, <laughs> Live action donkey and Shrek. <laughs> This looks like a parent yelling at their uh, young <laughs> child, but I can't tell which one's the parent and which one's the young child. <laughs> this does look like an Amber Alert. Yeah. <laughs> On Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> David looks like the only Mexican you pick up outside of Office Depot. <laughs> facts, 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 facts. Facts. That's what he can do. Like he facts. sends facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. David, why'd you take your glasses off? You don't want to see us making fun of you? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Get it in 4D. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you take your glasses off, you look like you go from selling oranges to organic avocados. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, who'd you like, Jeff Goldblum or the T-Rex? Who do you like? Uh -huh. No, this was a this was a great battle. I've now seen Mini battle in uh, in San Diego, uh, in L.A. in the Belly Room down here. I think you've won every single battle. You're uh, you're really good at this, and I, I just want to thank you for for taking a break from crashing into bridges in Baltimore um, to be here tonight. Yeah, it, um, I'm looking forward to your next battle uh, that you have coming up, the custody battle. I know it's going to be... <laughs> I also know that you're, you're battling Godzilla this summer, so it's all good. That's for you. Uh, no, I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. David, you were fun this, uh, this whole tournament. Even when you flubbed the joke, man, you owned it and you made it really uh, funny and you were, a, you were a good target up there and you had a few. The trampoline thing was really fucking funny at the end. But um, yeah, the moment you said he's so small when he, when he fucks, it's a 59. Uh, oh my God, you, so you, you, you won my heart, so yeah. congratulations. Going to the final four, Minnie. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Keep it going, San Diego Zone. Moving on to the final four, Minnie LT! <laughs> Hug each other, you two. Battle. You're watching Jam in the Van Comedy, and we couldn't keep it heady without your support. So make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe, and hit the bell to change your preferences to notify all. Join us for a show via the link in the description, and thanks for supporting live comedy.